Here's the wiring diagram. All the way to the left we have a uh, transmitter diode, infrared, and then to the right of that we've got the receiver diode, infrared diode, and that gets hooked up to the LM358 op amp. And this circuit can be made to be pretty sensitive. Now at the output, which is pin 1, I've got a 100 ohm resistor and a green LED so you can see what's happening. And as you'll see in this video, it can make this thing pretty sensitive. Here's the infrared circuit. It's right here. And you can see that I'm activating it right here. This is the 50k ohm resistor right here. And that you can set the sensitivity. And right now, well, you can't even see my hand. I'm above it. You can see that I can influence it. I'm just above what you can see. Let me change the sensitivity a little bit. There we go. So, this is uh, as sensitive as I want. Let me get this back up here. I just barely have it on. And now, I'm about oh, two feet above the transmitter and sender. And there's all kinds of possibilities for this infrared transmitter and receiver. This is a 48 uh, transmitter or infrared transmitters, 48 of them. Yep, this. Uh, black dot here, that is a light sensor, not an infrared sensor, a light sensor. This is for uh, outside cameras, security cameras. Well, I want this on all the time. So what I did was I filled that up with black paint. I happened to use ivory black, but tar would work, anything, just to cover that up and that will keep this on full time. Now I'm going to set this down right over here. Let's move this out of the way here. Let's see. Yeah, you can barely see that it's in the picture. Now watch the green light. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect those 48 infrared lights to power. And what's happening here, you notice that the green light went out. That's because this thing is bouncing a whole bunch of infrared off the ceiling and back down here. away here. Bouncing it off the ceiling. And of course, I don't have to have it that sensitive.
So this is uh, a very nice uh, adjustable circuit. Get it set on that tape roll. There we go. Now, if I wanted to set that up again, so when I plug power back into that thing, what you do is turn it so it just comes on like that. Now, when I plug it in, it's bouncing off the ceiling. and turning off the light. Now, let's say you don't want this setup where let me make this a little less sensitive. There we go my hand in the picture yeah just barely let me make it a little bit less sensitive there we go let's say you want it to come on when you put your hand over it or something walks by rather than go out well, you can add a PNP transistor, and here's the circuit for it. You can see that the collector of the PNP transistor goes directly to negative, and the base is connected to one, and on the emitter is another LED, goes through a thousand ohm resistor to the positive side of the 5 volts. Okay, now I'm going to hook up the base to pin 1. Right here. Okay. And here we have just the opposite result. This is quite a nice little circuit. Thanks for watching.